Hello everyone, welcome to Skaria.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today we're going to discuss a very interesting uh, topic which is about the stroke syndromes. So whenever we use the word stroke, it basically encompasses the brain damage that occurs due to the hindrance to the blood supply to a particular part or to the particular portion of the brain. And that is basically divided into two major classifications. That is the ischemic stroke and then we have another variety which which is known as the hemorrhagic stroke that we'll be discussing over here. Mainly the classifications that encompassing the ischemic stroke are the large vessel stroke within the interior circulation. It can be the large vessel stroke uh, involving the posterior circulation or either we have a variant which is basically the small vessel disease of the either the blood uh, vascular bread that is the interior circulation or the posterior circulation that we'd be discussing over here. So we all know we have the background knowledge regarding the common carotid artery which is bifurcating as the internal carotids as, uh, and as well as we have the external carotid artery. So having known these two major arterial branches, we must know that the thromboembolic events can take place in either of these uh, important arterial circulations. The complete middle uh, cerebral artery syndrome would be discussed over here, encompassing the hemiplegia, the hemianesthesias, the hemianopias that we'd observe in these patients. Uh, the patient can also suffer from dysarthrias as well as uh, syndrome of self-neglect that we'd be observing in these uh, patients of middle cerebral artery. Then we may also come across the patients of partial syndromes. How do we basically differentiate between a complete syndrome and a partial syndrome would be discussed over here. The major signs and symptomatologies would be discussed involving the Broca's aphasias and Wernick's aphasias and the person may also suffer uh, from conditions such as Jorgen's speech that we'd be discussing over here. What are the features of these uh, major clinical syndromes? Then we have the anterior choroidal artery syndrome uh, that we'd be discussing over here. And then we have the uh, major anatomical features relating to the internal carotid artery. The posterior cerebral artery would be discussed over here. We'd be going through the important syndromic conditions such as Clot syndrome, Weber syndrome, DeGerine syndrome. How do we define these conditions and what are the clinical features related to um, important P2 syndromic conditions such as amnestic aphasias, Anton syndrome that are described over here. We'd be discussing briefly the medullary syndrome, going through the inferior pontine syndromes over here, and then the signs and symptoms of the inferior pontine syndromes as well as the clinical features of mid-pontine syndromes over here. So if you want to uh, have the detailed lecture and uh, just go through all of the other medical lectures that are available on our website, do subscribe to our website and you can even start your free trial right now. Thank you for watching Skaria.com.